afternoon guys, welcome to Mooch's Ways channel. Um, I thought I'd make you this quick video about this rat smoker. It's based on the Rat Attack Mark II smoker, but it's a copy. It's basically made from a weed wand. Um, there is a video already on YouTube that shows you how to make these, but I just thought I'd show you how it works. And I haven't actually used it yet out ratting. Um, I bought this probably about oh, two years ago. Uh, we've recently just started up a rat pack again, so I thought I'd get it working. These are a bit tricky to use, and if you look online on a lot of the forums, a lot of the lads don't like them. They've got a habit of setting on fire. Um, so basically you've got this oil tank, or this oil can, that unscrews. Um, you can use a manner of different liquids like old engine oil, um, you can even use coolant, I've heard people using, I just use veg oil in this or cooking oil. Um, so you just push that and that feeds the oil through the tube, as you can see it dripping from the end there. It runs on these gas canisters. Um, which is a propane butane mix. You can pick these up from like home base, like three, four quid a tin. <clears throat> and that just screws onto the end. Just screw this on. Like so. So traditionally you would use an old chainsaw or strimmer engine as a smoker, um, but they can be noisy. Uh, the noise with those does help to shift the rats, obviously this has got no noise. So I'll give you a demo of how it works, I'll move the camera back a bit. So to start it, you just turn the gas on, little clicker. It. See that's on now. Now the trick with these is you've got to let them warm up a little bit. Let them warm up. Have it on quite high. Let it warm up a bit. And you can see there's a little bit of oil dribbling out. As I said before, you've got to be careful with these. You don't um, set it on fire. And you know when it's hot enough the smoke will actually start coming out by itself. So you let it start in a, I don't know if you can see that guys, it's just starting to smoke now. Let it keep going. Let it heat up. Don't feed any oil to it. Yeah, it'll just set it on fire. There you go, it's starting to smoke now. Start to smoke on its own, there you go. When it starts heating up like this, then you can start feeding it a tiny bit of oil. Whip. Set it on fire there, just leave it, don't feed it. Let it smoke, let it smoke. If you need to turn it off, turn it off. Blow it out. As I say, these can be a little bit, but look, that's off now. And you're getting quite a bit of smoke. again. You don't want it on too high. Just heat it. Just heat it up. Take the time, heat it up slowly. As you can see it starts smoking on its own. Feed it a little bit. Too high again. So you really have to be careful when you're using these around like buildings but as you can see that's producing a lot no noise you just feed it a little bit <laughs> I 
So as you can see, these take some getting used to. Until you're used to using this, I would not recommend using this around buildings where there's straw or hay, or things like that. So we're just gonna let it heat up again. As you can see, it's spitting a little bit. Once you get the hang of this, and you let this smoke on its own, we're gonna turn it down now, because that's really starting to smoke. Don't need a lot. There you go. Feed it a bit. Flamethrower. So, uh, <laughs> as you can see, you wouldn't want to use this particular smoker around um, like hay, straw, stuff like that, any animal bedding. Uh, these would be alright, I think, for um, like under concrete floors and uh, where you actually find rat warrens um you know like they're they're earth warrens it'd be fine for that as i said there's no noise to it not like a petrol a petrol smoker like a chainsaw or a strimmer but then i think a lot of the time without the noise they the petrol and chainsaw ones don't produce a lot of smoke so a lot of it is the noise and the rumbling that will shift them and i've heard people say that these things because there's no noise and no rumbling, it doesn't really shift them that well. Um, which is gonna be a problem, but as you see, they do produce a fair amount of smoke. You've just gotta get that balance right of heat and feeding it oil so it doesn't set on fire. Not too much of a big deal when it does set on fire. Um, you just turn the gas off, and as you just see me do, you can blow it out pretty well. So it's all about getting the coil inside hot. So don't really want to start off on a massively high heat because that's when you're going to have problems with your fire. So you just start it off on a medium heat, I'd say, and then turn it right down. So you'll see, like, it will start to smoke by itself, then turn it down you don't need a high heat let it smoke by itself like that and feed it a little bit turn it down a little bit more there you go as you can see it's clouding the uh, phone screen out <laughs> So you've got to be careful, you've always got to keep your eye on it. As I said before, you can get uh, videos already on YouTube on how to make them. Um, I think you can make them for around £30, so it's not expensive. As I say, then you've got the expense of a bottle of oil, um, or whatever you use. You could probably use, use cooking oil. Um, I bought, or I got it bought for me, my girlfriend actually bought it for me. Um, we saw them advertised on Facebook, and she bought one for me, so, you know, I'll use it. But whether it'll get as much use as a petrol smoker is another matter, because, as you've seen, they've got a bloody habit of setting on fire, which can be a problem. And they do have, like, this heat shield on it, but obviously that gets very hot. So you don't really want your dogs anywhere near touching it. Um, the oil that spits out is quite hot as well, so... 
you know, they have their pros and cons, they're not noisy, they're relatively cheap to run, but you just got to be careful. They do produce a lot of smoke, but obviously turn the, turn the power down. But yeah, do I like them? I couldn't tell you until I've tried to bolt some rats, but we'll have a go. As I say, now we've got our rat pack up and running, so um, we'll be out pretty soon. Now lockdown's over, we'll get out um, and we'll have a look. Uh, we've got a good team of dogs, uh, mainly terriers, patterdales. I've got my Lakeland patterdale. Uh, my mate's got a young patterdale bitch. The, the gamekeepers have come with us, got patterdale dog. Um, and the keeper's lad has a uh, whippet greyhound which he's just an all-rounder lad, so he'll be out ratting with us. And I'll probably bring my Whippet out from time to time. She's a good little ratter. So we're just building up a few places to go. So I'll get some of that on film. I'll show you this in action and hopefully not set a light to, <laughs> to anything. Um, in the meantime, we don't want to be losing our permissions. But I'll be using this sparingly because of obviously the issue of the, of the fire. Um, but as I said, we've got the more traditional chainsaw smoker. So it's just the noise of that starts to do your head in after a while. But, you know, as I said, most people don't like these. Jury's still out for me on it. Um, but as I say, once you, um, once you get the heat regulation on it right, I think it'll be, as you see, it produced a lot of smoke. So I think it'll be quite good. Um, it doesn't seem to... I mean, that was... It wasn't full, and you know, there's probably nearly half a, half a tank of that left, so it's pretty good on the oil. It doesn't burn the oil too quickly, and it's pretty good on gas. I mean, I've still got, I know I was tinkering about with this a lot, so. Not nearly a full canister. So yeah, but obviously be careful where you're using these. Um, if you look on YouTube, then you can find the guy who shows you how to make these. They're pretty, they're pretty dead simple to make. But as I say, if you're really, I mean, if you're going to go to the arse of making one of these, it's easier just to get an old chainsaw or strimmer engine, take the blade off, put a pipe on the exhaust, and you're away and you've not got the worry of having the end of it catch fire um, but yeah I thought I'd show you guys this because I've seen a few people post and ask about this on Facebook so I thought I'd give um, an honest review because all the reviews on on YouTube are from the guys who actually make these and so obviously they're gonna say they're great they're this that you know blah 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 you know, I'll give it to them, they do produce a lot of smoke, but at the same time, these are very limited. There's a lot of places I wouldn't personally use them, but if you're doing stables, stuff like that, you're going to start, <laughs> you're gonna, you know, you'll get the rats, but you'll bloody burn the stables down using it. As I said, the only time I'd actually use this is in a warren, a uh, rat warren, not rabbit warren, a rat warren, or under concrete bases, or rock piles, stuff like that, I'd use it for that, but... um yeah, as I say, in the next few weeks, when we get out ratting, I'll test this out and it'll be on film. Hopefully, uh, get you guys some good footage as well. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And uh, all staying safe and well, whatever tier you're in now. Um, I think we'll be in tier two, so we can still get bits and bobs done. And uh, I'll get back to you with another video soon. It'll be a ratting one. So, cheers, guys.